Hello friends, it's Miss Rachel, and since this week is the week before Halloween, I thought that we would read a book about bats. And this book is a National Geographic book about bats, and so that means it is a non-fiction book. And if it's non-fiction, that means it's real. So this book contains facts about bats. And in this book, there are a lot of text features. So we're going to be looking for some text features in this book about bats. First, we have a table of contents. Now, this table of contents has lots of topics. And these topics are going to be our headings on our pages. And it tells us which pages those headings can be found. So our first heading, here it is, says, What's a bat? And it says, I sleep by day, I fly by night. I have no feathers to aid my flight. What am I? The answer is a bat. A bat is a mammal. Mammal are animals that nurse their young, have hair, and are warm-blooded. Humans, dogs, and whales are all mammals, but bats have a special ability. They can fly. And here's a picture of a bat, but look down here. It says flying fox bat. That is a caption. It's words underneath the picture or by the picture that let us know what the picture is. Here's our second heading, bat food. The headings tell us what the, what the topic is of that page or that section of the story says there are about 1,200 types of bats in the world. Most of them eat insects. Insect-eating bats are usually small in size. There are more than 150 types of fruit bats. These bats are usually larger and search for sweet foods, fruits, and other plants. And here's another caption that tells us about the picture. It says silky short-tailed bat feeding and it looks like he's feeding on a fruit so he must be a fruit bat this one doesn't have a heading on this page so it must be a continuation of our heading on the last page it says a few bats hunt for a larger prey such as frogs birds or mice some people think all bats suck your blood. This is not true. Only three kinds of bats drink blood. This group is known as vampire bats. They mostly feed on the blood of animals like cows and deer, not humans. And we have two captions on this page. Here's a caption for this bat. That's a vampire bat. And a caption for this bat over here says, Fringed lip bat eating a frog. So some bats will eat frogs. Now we have a new heading. Night flight. It says, did you know that while you're fast asleep, bats are busy filling their bellies? Bats are nocturnal, meaning they're active at night. This way of life has many advantages for a bat. Insect-eating bats often feast on bugs that come out after dark. Pollen and nectar-eating bats might feed on plants that only open at night. Nectar is a sweet liquid made by flowers. And here's another caption. Thousands of wrinkled-lipped bats leaving a cave at dusk. There they are, flying in the air. Here's our next heading, bat bodies. Scientists call bats Cheiroptera, a Greek name that means hand wing. That's because bats have four fingers and a thumb just like us. A thin layer of skin connects the fingers. This forms a wing. Bats also have a sensitive nose 
and big ears. Their big ears help some bats see with sound. And then look at this picture. It looks like there's a bunch of captions on it, but this is actually a diagram because it shows us a picture and then it tells us what each part of the picture is. So it points to its eyes and says sharp eyesight, points to its wing, its big ears, sensitive nose, its thumb, four fingers, and coat of fur. So that is a diagram. In the pitch black night, bats can scoop up a tiny insect with ease. No flashlight required. How do they do it? They make a sound that travels until it hits an object. Then it bounces off the object and travels back to the bat. From this echo, the bat can tell an object's size and how far away it is. This is called echolocation. Pretty cool. Funny face is the heading up here. And then it shows four different pictures and they all have a caption. This one says false vampire bat. This one says Amazonian bat. This one is a spotted bat. And this one is a big eared bat. Some bats have strange looking faces. Special ears, noses, and mouths help bats tune into and make sounds while they use echolocation. Their faces may look odd to us, but for bats, their features work perfectly. Hanging out is the heading. When bats are not hunting for food, they're usually hiding in a roost. Roosts can be caves, treetops, or attics. Bats pick places that are well hidden and protect them from bad weather. When most bats rest in their roost, they hang upside down. And here is the picture with the caption, Little Red-Headed Flying Foxes Roosting in a Tree. I guess that's the bat name. Little Red-Headed Flying Foxes. Hmm. Have you ever hung upside down in a jungle gym? You might start to feel dizzy. Bats have special veins to keep their blood flowing properly so they never feel dizzy. Bats can't take off from the ground like birds do. They have to fall into flight. Hanging upside down is the best way to make a quick getaway. And here's another caption. Bats hanging and flying in a cave. Oh, here's our heading, baby bats, and our caption, mother and a baby bat, and a second caption, Gambian epauleted bat, mother and baby flying. Baby bats, called pups, completely depend on their mothers after they're born. They're blind, hairless, and can't fly. They cling to their mother's fur. The pups nurse their mother's milk until their wings are strong enough to fly. Here's another heading, Bat Rescue. During storms in an Australian rainforest, wind can knock baby bats to the forest floor. The babies usually don't survive unless wildlife workers come to the rescue. The lucky bats are taken to a bat hospital. The babies are bundled in blankets and fed milk from a bottle. After a few months, they are strong enough to return to the wild. And here's our caption for this picture. It says, these are rescue bats in Queensland, Australia. Our next heading, Nature's Helpers. And there's a caption for this picture. Hairy-legged nectar bat with pollen on head and shoulders. Oh, you see there's the yellow on his head. That's the pollen. A world without bats wouldn't be very nice. Bats are an important part of the ecosystem. Insect-eating bats gobble up millions of bugs. Many of these insects are pests that could, be, that could harm humans or destroy crops. Bats keep their numbers under control. Other bats keep forests healthy by spreading seeds and pollen. 
This allows trees and flowers to multiply. Bat Miss Busted. And this one has four different pictures. And this caption is a little different because it has a myth and a truth. And look at these words, myth and truth. They are a little darker and a different color than the other words in the caption. And I would say that is a bold print. So right here, the, mat, the myth is that bats are blind. But the truth is that bats have excellent eyesight. Some bats hunt using sight alone. And here are three other myths and truths about the bats. Bat Hall of Fame. And this one has different pictures. And these are almost like captions for the pictures that are a little bit longer. It says, Teeny Tiny, the smallest bat in the world is the bumblebee bat. It's a wingspan is five inches across. Its body is the size of a jelly bean. So that's the caption for this picture. This picture says, Mega Wings, the largest bat, is the three-pound flying fox. Its wingspan can be six feet long. That's longer than you are tall. Over here, it says, Happy Camper, the Honduran white bat, makes ten set of leaves to protect itself from constant rain showers. This picture says, Most Crowded Home, 20 million Mexican free-tailed bats live in one Texas cave. These bats are also the fanciest flyers. They can soar as high as 10,000 feet and zoom through the air at speeds over 40 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. Our last picture, biggest appetite. Little brown bats can eat up to 1,200 mosquitoes in one night. Yum. So all of this page was pictures with their captions. Oh, and there's the end. This last page is a glossary. It shows us the name of the picture and what that word means. So, for example, here's a word, nocturnal. The state of being active at night. So it tells us what nocturnal means. So that, this whole page is the glossary. I hope this showed you a little bit about bats and text features. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye.